Hi, today I'm gonna show you about the animation in the keyshot. So first of all, go to animation wizard at the bottom left side, click and the animation type will be pop out. So here you can choose the type of animation that you want to edit uh, to your project. It has two parts. First of all, uh, the model part where you can animate the uh, the model like this the table translation rotation and also fade the second part is the camera animation where is you can uh, you can change the angle for the camera you can uh, make the animation out of the camera so today I'm gonna show you about the camera switch event but first let's choose uh, wanna let's choose the camera animation first so I'm gonna choose orbit hit next and hit add camera so here you can name it uh, as whatever you want so I'm gonna stick to camera camera one and after that click next so here you can change the rotation for the uh, for the um, for the camera and also the time for the camera to rotate so I gonna choose is in and out for the motion is and I'm gonna use five second for the cam for this angle and click finish here you can see the how the camera works in the key shot So next, I'm going to add another camera angle, but I'm going to use the same camera as before. So click animation wizard again. This time I'm going to choose a zoom. And I'm going to click next. Use the same camera. Click next. And here you can choose the start focal length and end focal length. Uh, I'm going to use the default one. I'm gonna change this to is in and out and here I'm gonna use zero second uh, start zero second and end to five second so click finish so I'm gonna it's not the uh, same so I'm gonna same it so click this so you can see that it also uh or he also do the rotation and also zoom in so he give another uh, ang camera angle to the mod the uh, product after that go to animation wizard again uh, choose inclination and click next and this time add another camera for for you to do another part and same as same as before I'm gonna uh, use default rotation but this time I'm gonna change the start sec start to the five seconds so it, it will replay af right after the camera one click next so right now let uh, semi it to five second. So I'm gonna click. I'm gonna do the same thing as a camera one. If that is uh, put another camera angle. Use the same camera two. And here you can change the distance. Uh, change the start 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 uh, start point. Click next. So here you can see the you can see how the camera two works. So since it's a little bit zoom in, so I'm gonna change the zoom in camera. Click the zoom in camera and the zoom in camera 
and change the end focal length so we be and change the also maybe maybe 35 and this one is 65 So it looks nice. We're gonna change to CD. Yeah. After done that, uh, after done that, uh, it's time. After that, after that, I'm gonna click uh, animation wizard, and this time I'm gonna choose camera switch event. Hit that and click next. And here you ha you have to use the camera one as the main camera. Click next. And here from camera one to camera two, or the 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 camera that you name it as before. And here is the time when the camera switch event start. So for me it's at five second. So I'm gonna put five finish and yes you can see that it has this uh, circle right here to show you that this it will start at five sec it will start at five seconds so to make it happen click uh, cam double click camera 2 and right click camera 1 and put it as set as active camera so it will become like this so this is how camera switch event uh, happen so that's a very simple uh, use but if it is really useful for you to create another camera angle next is I'm gonna show you about how to create ca the camera path animation it's very easy to use first of all uh, make sure that you have create uh, one camera and then go to animation wizard select path click next and click next make sure you select camera 1 click next and here you can change the the, the camera that you want <coughs> the anchor camera that you want ok right now it, it say that move the camera and use the, use the add button at each desired control point position to create a sequence of control point what what it means by this is it has a uh, one point already that is this uh, this scene so next I'm gonna move this and click at add new control point that if this will create this uh, this scene move it again Add new control point. Move it again. Click add new control point. Move this. Clear and let's try to zoom. see that camera pump is actually doing what what we create before right now it looks so fast we can slow it down by go to the setting at the bottom make sure it um, is in and out so let's let's have a look so 
is that slow and the end is fast and at the end is slow back again so this is how to create the camera pass animation so this is the last part for the key shot that I'm going to that I'm going to show you uh, that is rendering so to render the to render the uh, project go to the render at the bottom click render and it will pop up like this if you want to render the image you can go to still image but uh, I'm going to show you how to render the animation so go to the animation and here you can change the preset for the resolution I'm going to I'm going to use uh, one uh, 1024 with, uh, with 768 so you actually you can change uh, the time range that you want to render let's say we want to render from, from 5 second to 10 second only you can change that to frame range you can input this or you also can change the work area which is you can uh, set if you want to render from this to this this is the work area if you want to render this this part also you can use a uh, work area so I'm going to show you to uh, render the entire duration so this is a uh, video output it has mp4 avi mov flash and animated gif so the format that suitable for window is mp4 and avi quick time is for mac, mac user i choose this and set the folder uh, where you will uh, edit where the output will be I'm going to use uh, I create, create another uh, another folder name is uh, code project so select this uh, folder name this as Cans. okay so here you also has a free output where you can uh, where you can make uh, the image for the video that you that you will be using it so without further ado so click render so here it will it will render so it based on 181 uh, frame so you need to wait until it reach 181 frame so I will skip to the until it finish and now the rendering is done as you can see uh, the animation frame will be 181 uh, with 181 Make sure you render that it finish the the rendering. So let's see how is uh, how the output. So so after exit the rendering part, this will pop up and it, sh it show that the video that you have rendered has has been saved to the the directory that you have been set. So click open directory. This is the video that you have created. So this is how it will look like. So thanks for watching guys.